especially in Japan from my personal experience, milk cleansers are actually super, super common. This one is just the most ideal texture for me. It is creamy and comfortable. I plan on picking up a new one when I go back to Japan in March. I'm so excited for all the skincare shopping. Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about the benefits of using a cleansing milk. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and turn it on. I know, I know, we have a bit of a different background going on. I have decided to finally change up my area a little bit and obviously it's not complete. Like this set of drawers literally came yesterday and we just chucked it in here. The rest of the room is an absolute mess right now. But anyways, on to the um, actual topic at hand here. If you are a skincare fanatic like me or are obsessed with Asian beauty products, you probably have heard of the Milk Cleanser. Where a lot of Western brands tend to focus on a oil or Balm cleanser, especially in Japan from my personal experience, milk cleansers are actually super, super common. Whether you have mature or dry skin, wear very little makeup, or even have oily but sensitive skin, we can all benefit from using milk cleansers. So if you have ever been intrigued by or were curious about the milk cleanser, then this video is for you. First things first, what are milk cleansers? As you may have guessed from the name, milk cleansers are a type of cleanser that has that milky texture. It is still considered to be a first step cleanser, so it is going to help remove those oil-based impurities like makeup, oil, and SPF. But compared to purely oil cleansers, they actually do have water components in it as well. So why use milk cleansers? Usually the number one reason given to use milk cleansers is because they are a lot more gentle. They also have a higher level of moisture and is less stripping of our skin's natural oils, so it does help to keep our skin more soft and supple. Other than that, they can also feel very um, comfortable on the skin since they do have that more milky, creamy, luxurious texture. And the biggest con of them is that well, the cleansing power isn't quite as strong as oil cleansers. So the question is, who should use milk cleansers? The people who would benefit most from milk cleansers are as follows. Dry or mature skin. Due to the higher moisture of the milk cleanser, if you often feel tightness after you cleanse your face, milk cleansers will actually help create that moisture barrier on your skin. Sensitive skin. Oil can actually be quite harsh on our skin. And as I said earlier, it can take more than it should of our skin's natural oils. So if you do tend to feel a lot of sensitivity when you are cleansing, milk cleanser is formulated to be more gentle. And lastly, those who don't wear makeup or wear very light makeup. Oil cleansers are great in removing that stubborn makeup really quickly, but if you don't wear that makeup, basically there is no point or there is no need to put your skin through that stress. So if you wear light makeup or even just SPF on the daily, then a milk cleanser is more than enough. Personally, I do change what type of cleanser I'm using depending on the day. So if I'm wearing a full face of makeup, I tend to go for the oil cleanser but if I am just wearing like a tinted SPF or just sunscreen I will tend to go for the milk cleanser. It is great to have the option and also kind of change the cleanser depending on how my skin is doing at the time. So before I share some of my favorite milk cleanser recommendations I thought I would actually take you guys through my full process of using a milk cleanser. It is pretty straightforward and basically the same as an oil cleanser but in case you are new here or new to cleansing in general or just curious of how I use it personally then please keep watching because we're gonna do the whole shebang <laughs> Okie dokie, so let's get started on the cleansing process. Of course, before we start, I'm just gonna get my hair out of the way. And please make sure you wash your hands before you grab some cleanser as well. I've been in a good habit to also cleanse my nails whenever I do my PM cleansing routine. So before we grab the milk cleanser, we do want to remove any eye and lip makeup beforehand, since milk cleansers are not quite as strong in the cleansing power as oil cleansers. So I'm gonna show you two options on how to do this. On one eye, I will be using the Heroi make speedy mascara remover. I have mentioned this multiple times on my channel already as it is literally the easiest way to remove especially waterproof mascara. Basically the formula breaks down the makeup while it's sitting on your lashes so you don't have to rub at them hard. On the other side I will be using a eye and lip makeup remover. This one is the Skin Food Milkshake Point Makeup Remover. With this type of makeup remover you just want to soak some on a cotton pad and gently hold it over your eye. Me just casually um 
um, showing you guys my new nails because they cute. After about 30 seconds, the formula should break down the makeup so you can very gently swipe away. And the key here is obviously to swipe as gently as possible and not to kind of aggressively rub at your eyes. So obviously it is totally up to you which way you want to remove your waterproof or stubborn makeup, but make sure you do kind of do a pre-cleanse before your meal cleanser. And yeah, usually I am lazy, so I end up using the mascara remover. So the cleansing milk I'll be using today is the Muji one. And I would say a difference between oil and milk cleansers may be how much you use. So usually with milk cleansers, they actually recommend using quite a generous amount. On the Muji one, it actually says to use three three to four pumps or in Japan they often say as much as a 500 yen coin which I would say is close to or slightly bigger than a American quarter. So after grabbing a generous amount in dry hands you want to apply the cleanser in order of where you want to cleanse the most or where the oiliest is so usually you want to start off with the t-zone then move on to your cheeks and then other areas like brows and lips and then of course lastly on your eyes you can see that even the side that i use the hero and make mascara remover it has removed it very well so usually with oil cleansers, we do always want to emulsify the product. So to add a little bit of water to make it easier to wash off. Technically with milk cleansers, since they are already a milk emulsified formula, you don't have to. Although personally, I would say it does wash off way easier when you do just add that tiny little bit of water to emulsify. So I usually just wet my hands, not even grab like a large amount of water, just wet my hands and then quickly emulsify the milk cleanser while it's on my skin. So now that we have washed off the milk cleanser for those of you with dry skin, great news. You don't actually have to follow it up with a second cleanser. If you don't want to, you can be done with that one step cleanse. But if you do have oily skin or acne prone skin or worried about congestion or breakouts, I still do recommend following with a second step water-based cleanser. So here I'm just using the self foaming one from Ionique. And since I do have drier skin, I'm not actually going to cleanse my whole face, but just going to cleanse my t-zone where I tend to get oily or any breakouts if I do. Once we wash that off we are done with the cleansing routine and you can move on to the rest of your skincare like normal. All right so now that we know how to use them here are some of my recommendations of milk cleansers. First I do have the trusty Muji milk cleansing. I do think this is my favorite milk cleanser to date which honestly is not a surprise because their oil cleanser is my like holy girl cleanser of all time and I did also include this one in my best cleansers of 2022 video. The ingredients list is very basic like most Muji skincare products. The main oil ingredient to cleanse is a sunflower seed oil and they they do also have ingredients like hyaluronic acid to hydrate and skin loving ingredients like glycerin and tocopherol. It does actually include orange peel oil as the very last ingredient on the ingredients list. So if you are sensitive to essential oils, unfortunately you may have to um, watch out for this one. Personally, I love the really subtle kind of citrus scent it does give. They do also note on the packaging that it is free from um, artificial fragrance, colorants, mineral oil, paraben and alcohol. This one is just the most ideal texture for me. It is creamy and comfortable, not too thin, not too thick. And it does sell for under 1000 Japanese yen for 200 mils. Unfortunately, it is a little bit hard to find online and is not easily accessible. So if you are in Japan or are traveling there, it is definitely one that I would recommend to pick up. And I would say it is suitable for all skin types. Next, I do have the Sana Nameraka Honpo Cleansing Milk. So this one is more of a recent favorite and I did start using it when I was staying in Florida. So I would say it is one that is a bit better for warmer seasons. It does have those soy derived ingredients that Japan loves for elasticity and bounce to the skin as well as moisture. Also contain glycerin and uses mineral oil as the main cleansing agent. And it does actually contain a little bit of alcohol as well. As I said earlier, I do recommend this one in slightly warmer months, like for me in Australia right now, and also oilier skin type since it does have a bit more of a fresher um, feel on the skin after cleansing. It does actually say it is supposed to remove waterproof makeup which I have tried 
Personally, I would just stick to using a iron lip makeup remover. I feel like when you try to remove it with something like this, it just takes a really, really long time and adds just extra stress to your eyes. This one does actually specifically say that you can use the cleanser even when your hands are wet and you can also use it for eyelash extensions and that there is no need to double cleanse. This one is a bit more transparent compared to the Muji one and rather than like a milky cream texture, I would say it has a bit more of like a slime texture to it. This one does sell for around 1,300 Japanese yen for 300 ml so quite a generous big bottle and I would recommend it more for oily and combo skin. Next I have the Make Prem Relief Moisture Cleansing Milk. So this one is the only K-Beauty cleanser that I've included today just because I haven't tried that many but it probably is the most accessible one out of all of these today since it is a Korean brand. This one uses olive and safflower seed oil as the main cleansing ingredients and it does also have a lot of the similar base ingredients as the other ones like glycerin, hyaluronic acid but it does also include ceramides, panthenol and tocopherol so a few more skin loving ingredients. This one also does have bergamot fruit oil in its ingredients so again an essential oil but personally I feel like I can barely even smell this one. It is very, very subtle. This one does have more of a fluid milk texture, not quite as thick. This one is vegan and cruelty free and sells for about 25 US dollars on Amazon US for 200 mils. Again, I would recommend this one for all skin types as well. And lastly, I do have the Cow Brand Cleansing Milk. So this one is actually kind of the reason to why I fell in love with the milk cleansers and one of the first ones I ever tried. This one is completely empty. I actually emptied it out quite a while back and they have now renewed it. So I plan on picking up a new one when I go back to Japan in March. I'm so excited for all the skincare shopping. You guys know I keep mentioning it. And this one in particular, I would recommend for those who have sensitive skin. I actually don't know if it is part of like the official brand name, but they often write Cal brand Mutenka, which Mutenka means basically like no additive or additive free. So this one is free from a lot of those possible irritants, fragrance, colorant, alcohol, and all of those things that people who do have sensitive or sensitized skin could um, react to. It uses forms of glycerides as the main makeup removing agent, and it also does include hyaluronic acid and ceramides. The texture is similar to the Namenaka Hompo one from Memory. I mean, it has been a while since I have used it and it does sell for under 1,000 yen for the 150 ml bottle but they do also sell refill pouches which sell for about 800 Japanese yen for 130 ml so again a very very affordable brand that would be great for those who do have sensitive skin once again it might be a little bit hard to access um, or find online so recommend picking it up if you're in Japan. Well, I guess that is it, you guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video on milk cleansers. I know you guys enjoyed the emulsion one where I talked about kind of like a product category that is unique to Japanese or Asian beauty. So I definitely want to do more of these kinds of videos. If you want to watch them too, please let me know so I know. And if you want to check out any other videos of mine, I have selected two that I feel like you would enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.